apparently this is the route to the hotel I've chosen. <laughs> I have no idea if this is a good idea or not. First I thought, oh, is this it? Like, but it looks a lot better <laughs> on Google. Hi, my name is Shanine. I find myself in a little town called Malko Tarnovo. It's in the southeast part of Bulgaria, five kilometers away from the Turkish border. It's beautiful, the surroundings. So I just am gonna go. It should be a couple of more minutes and we'll see what's there. I can always go back, like I can take a bus at 4.30 in the afternoon to go back to Burgas. It's one hour with the bus, two buses a day, sometimes three, doable. Found it. So this is where I just came from. <laughs> I'm delighted, there's something here. I hope they're open. I, I have no idea, like there seems, there's a car. Okay, that's cool. Let's see. <laughs> like a fucking fort. Fort. <laughs> With the, um, I don't know what you call them in English, but Cantela, like those medieval castle things. <laughs> so funny. Okay, I'm um, at the hotel. And there's nobody here, even though there's a small car. Um, there's a phone number. On the door that I phoned, <laughs> but of course the way the lady didn't speak any English, um, so I tried in my best Bulgarian <laughs> to say that I want to stay in the hotel, and she gave me a price that I understood, so I said yes, uh, and then she hung up, and I said, so I did. I said, oh, I, I, dobre, <laughs> thank you. So I hope she's coming here. I don't know. I'm just sitting here waiting and uh, thinking what to do. Ouch, I'm itchy. It's, there's a dark cloud suddenly and it was such a warm, sunny day. <laughs> so I hope it will go away. Um, yeah, it's weird. I don't know. See? So I managed to check in. I think I'm the only one here. Wait. One flight of stairs. And then I'm in 210. That's here. <laughs> so nice. I wonder what it's here, like in August. There's like families gone on holiday, so so a quick room tour straight away. Yay, made it! Found a place and two beds. Perfect. Not a big mirror, a big telly. I have a little balcony. A little bit of a view. So yeah, I'm gonna go uh, charge my phone and then I'm gonna go explore it. A little bit odd. It's a beautiful village, but I'm well aware that things that are beautiful to me are not necessarily what everybody wants for themselves. Oh dear. <laughs> um, right. This is interesting. I'm not gonna do that. Um, I can jump to the other side or I can try here. What do you think? I think I'm gonna go for a jump. Alright. That's it. Hmm. I'm gonna try it Okay, I'm gonna try it inside. Oh, yes! <laughs> Made it! <laughs> My arms hurt. Yesterday I brought two of my boxes to the DPD office. It was only three minutes from my house, so I wasn't gonna get a taxi, so I just 
brought them there. I'm not that strong, so now my arms are sort of sour. It hurts, but it's okay. Just want to do weird things like jumping. You know, this is so lovely. Like if you'd had a little plot like this, there's a horse over there. I love that. Can you see him? Oh yeah. There he is. <laughs> Just lying there. Follow the path. It's a lot of trash lying around, but uh, like it makes sense, you know, this is like just outside the village, so that's where it goes. I find in general that littering is not that bad here. You know, today I saw a guy, you know, just... Oh, yeah, see, this is just a dump. This is just a pile of trash. I'm gonna look at the map, see if I'm going the right way. See, I found a map. That means I am not completely crazy. Um, by coming here, I'm actually looking for something that's there, it exists. And it's funded by the European Union. So I'm just gonna figure out how to get there. Uh, but at least I'm here, so I know I'm in the right place. Now I just have to figure out whether that's the road or that road goes over there. Or this trail into the bushes. Probably the road. <laughs> I hear a car coming as well. It's a little bridge, two benches. It's nice and shady. It's a bit damp. Um, still very warm. Um, yeah, I'm happy I found a trail, so. You know, because at first I was like, I had to walk on the road and I thought, oh my God, what am I doing now? I'm doing something completely crazy, <laughs> trying to find something in the middle of nowhere that's in no tourist guide, whatever. But here there's actually a marked trail, so that'd be nice. I can follow it a little bit longer, see where I end up. If I have energy, but I think I'm almost there, so. I just, uh, earlier on, when I was at the map, so got a car pulled up with three old men in it. One of them spoke pretty good English, slow but good, and a um, little bit of Dutch as well, <laughs> so funny. Um, but he said um, his daughter uh, had lived in the Netherlands. I had a Dutch boyfriend or partner named Bart. <laughs> so he'd been around. He'd seen Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Utrecht, lots of places. Bar and Recht he was talking about. I think that's where they lived. Uh, sadly, she'd passed away a couple of years ago. So yeah, that's sad stories. I think a lot of young Bulgarian people, uh, of course, go to Western Europe. And why wouldn't they, you know, make a bit of money and uh, come back, buy a house, start a business, you know, you have something to invest with. But of course, some of them fall in love and stay. That's how it goes. So, how the trail's gone up. It's so nice. I'll show you. I love this. I'm going to stop talking as well because it's lovely and quiet and I'm going to enjoy it. here. Tracian tombs. Apparently. <laughs> Feels a bit odd. You see it? Even though it's so old. 
You can just walk over it like that. Put it on here. There. And the lid, I think. Wow. It's pretty insane. Tracian tombs. How long ago has this been made? 3,000 years? I'm not sure. I have to look it up. It's beautiful though, look at this. And then... Pretty amazing. Scary. Imagine that. Three thousand years ago, people just came here, buried their people. I'm not sure this was like Bronze Age, I think. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> I'm not great with my years. I'm sorry. Wow. One. Two. Three. Look like a family. Like a massive one. A little bit smaller one. Tiny one. And you can clearly see the hill. Well, that is very, very, very clear. Look. And there, there's another big one. Wow. Look at this. That is really interesting. That's huge. Look, there's a looking chair. See that? Wow. Huh, little lizard. In the triangle. Look, good for the bees. It's bee heaven here. Beautiful, the path goes on, but I need to go back, unfortunately. I'm back on the main road again, so on, now you can see my hotel is on top of that mountain there. Can you see it? Yeah, you can. There it is. No straight route though, I have to go around. <laughs> Hello. Oh, don't go. Oh yeah, please go. No. Mm -hmm. I think I'm the only one <laughs> in this hotel. <laughs> but I did bring my swimsuit, so I'm going to go for a swim. 
I hope it's boring. <laughs> it's really strange, you know, to be the only one in a hotel that is clearly meant for a holiday. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> enjoy myself anyway. <laughs> Yay! Oh, so it's <laughs> you see me like <laughs> it's very low and the water is really cold no, not really cold like the surface is a little bit warmed up by the sun but um it's so funny i'm the only one here but yeah i need to stay moving in order to not get cold so gonna jump in sun is so bright that I don't even see anything and uh, oh is that sunscreen on my face I had to put sunscreen on my face the sun is so hot I'm really trying to lie in the sunshine and get a bit of a tan um, but like, after three minutes I'm already burning I'm very restless so not great at this. I don't know how you people do it. Like just lie. Like some people go on holiday to a resort like this for like three weeks. I don't know how. <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying it though. Like it's lovely. Um, there's swallows and they have their nests on the edges, uh, just under the roof, and they're just flying around all over the swimming pool. And just now and again, they just take a little dip in the swimming pool. And they just take a sip, I think, of water. I'm not sure. So, very, very nice. talking too loud because people are gonna think I'm crazy. Um, oh, it's so nice to feel the sun on your skin. You know, I feel like I've been swimming for an hour and now I'm just sort of just blazing in the sun and I'm sad because I have to get up because I need to find a place to eat. The restaurant of the hotel isn't open, but yeah, um, it's just amazing because I have the whole place to myself. You know, there's only the women who work here only two two women there's one actually now with her daughter so like i'm so comfortable Do you know just yeah whole place to myself <laughs> i can't complain like super <laughs> Okay, I have something to say. I like talking to people. I don't mind whether it's men or women. I just like people. I love to hear their story. And, but there's one thing that I need to say, and that is, if you're from Amsterdam and you travel, the conversation sooner or later, if you're talking to with a man, they will always start talking about the red light district or the sex museum. Like this is after we talked about the coffee shops, right? Now for me, I've decided that that is my cue to just end the conversation because it's just boring. <laughs> and I think also I'm a woman. If you want to if you're talking to like whoever Hans or Bart or Wim, whoever, a guy who's Dutch, then whatever, talk about it all you want. Like maybe you have a great time discussing it. But I think 
is kind of... I always laughed about it, but now I think it's kind of rude. Like, why would you, if you're a grown ass man, like you're not, I'm not talking about 17 year old or 18 year old, don't talk to those. Like, I, I, like I'm talking older men, grown up men. I don't think it's very polite to uh, start talking about those things, about prostitution or about sex in the first conversation. When you're to, talking to a grown-up woman, I just don't think it's nice. So, next time when you meet a woman <laughs> from the Netherlands, just don't. You know, just suck it up, buttercup, and just talk about something else. You know, it's the same. Honestly, it's the same as what they do to Americans. Like, for example, if you, every time an American person talks to somebody or meet someone and you start talking about Trump, it's like, just shut up. You know, <laughs> just some subjects are just like, you know, you just let them be, leave them alone. We're tired, you know, of hearing it. Don't want to talk about it anymore. Like, it's done. You know, if you're fascinated by it, go on, go on YouTube, go whatever, find people to talk about it. But like, no, not to just random women you meet. No, bad idea. Stop it.